Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Inkerma Tools DM262 Bilateral Laser Distance Meter. Unlike most laser measuring devices, the DM262 uses two lasers, one on the top and one on the bottom. This means that you can stand anywhere between two points and measure the distance between them. So for example, if I want to measure this window recess, I can take a vertical reading from any position I don't have to put the meter on the sill like I would with a unidirectional device. And then when I've taken that reading, I can easily change position and measure the horizontal distance. The measurement angle is also displayed so you know that the meter's level when you take the reading. Your last 100 measurements are stored in the memory so you can easily scroll between them. Measurement accuracy is specified to be plus or minus 2 millimeters up to 10 meters, plus or minus another millimeter for every extra 10 meters. So let's have a look at some of the key features. As well as taking single measurements, this device will also calculate area and volume from multiple measurements. It can make Pythagorean calculations, as we'll look at later. It can make real-time measurements, which allow you to continuously monitor the distance between two points. It stores your results. It, you can change the screen orientation. And you can change the font size. So what do you get in the box? Sat on the top, wrapped in a plastic wrapper, is the meter. It's about 5 inches or 120 millimeters long, 2 inches wide and 1 inch thick, or 47 by 27 millimeters if you want it in metric. Underneath the meter is the instruction manual. This is quite comprehensive and it's printed in 6 languages. We've got English, German, Spanish, French, Italian, and I presume that's Chinese at the bottom. All the information you'd expect in there, including details with a three-year warranty, which shows that Inkerman must be pretty satisfied that this is built to last. There's a carrying pouch which has a belt loop and a Velcro fastening, and inside that you'll find the wrist strap and also the charging cable. It's a USB charging cable and it's a USB-C connection. The manual claims you can make 3,000 readings on a full charge and I have no reason to doubt that. I've found that battery life is very good. So straight out of the box it all looks good but what's it like to use? It fits in the hand nicely. That's the charging port you can see on the right hand side. The grooves help with grip. The corners are chamfered so they're less likely to get damaged if you drop it. The plastic casing feels sturdy. This feels like it's built to last. The controls are all together below the screen. The buttons are rubberized and each has multiple functions. The backlit LCD color display is clear and bright. You can certainly use it outside on a sunny day. And the whole unit just feels well made. So let's look at how it operates. To turn it on, we press the top button. That's referred to as button A in the manual. And if we look at the icons at the top, we can see that it's currently in bi-directional mode. You can also use this device as a single directional laser, which will measure from either the back or the front of the device. A long press scrolls between these options. So I've set this up to measure from the front of the device and if I pan up you'll be able to see the laser on the wall there. And then to take the measurement you press the top button. So I'll show you that again. That's exactly the same as the previous reading and one more time and we get the same reading again. In this mode, the measurement angle is live and is displayed at the top of the screen. And next to it, on the right hand side, you've got the battery charge indicator. A short press on button C brings up the measurement options. And then presses on buttons D and E allow you to scroll between them. So as well as single measurement, you've got real-time measurement, area, volume. And there's three Pythagorean functions where the machine does the trigonometry for you. You've got the memory. And then finally, that last button, for some reason, all that seems to do is bring up a pretty picture of the meter. That's not a great deal of use, but if I scroll back and go to the memory, the memory stores your last 100 readings. And you can easily scroll backwards and forwards between them by pressing the plus or minus buttons. If you want to delete a reading, a short press on the bottom button, button F, We'll erase that reading from the memory. If I select real time measuring from the menu, this will allow me to take continuous measurements. The unit's still in unidirectional mode, so it's just going to take the measurement between the front of the 
unit and the wall. You can see there we've got a minimum and a maximum. And if I move it slightly, you'll see that the reading changes. This is obviously useful if you want to find an exact position from a point without taking multiple readings. In bilateral mode, it's useful for finding the centre of a room, for example. The area function is great if you want to work out how much flooring you might need for a room, for example. So I'm going to switch into the area mode. I'm taking bilateral readings now, by the way, so I don't need to go right up to one wall. So I'll take a reading in one direction and then turn the meter 90 degrees and take the reading between the other two walls. And the DM262 will then calculate the area of the room. The 262, by the way, refers to the maximum operating distance. That's 262 feet or about 80 meters. You can change screen orientation with single press. And there's also an option to change font size. If you want to know the volume of an area, you can switch to volume mode. And again, using the bi-directional lasers, you can stand anywhere in the room, take a reading of length. Followed by width. And then height. I'm trying to get this as close to 90 degrees as I can. The Inkerman meter then calculates the volume by multiplying the three readings together. The Pythagorean modes use the trigonometry that you remember from school. By measuring the hypotenuse and the angle, the Inkerman device can then calculate the length of the opposite and adjacent sides of the triangle. Now this is particularly useful if you want to measure the height of a wall or the height of a window from the ground. Simply point the laser at the bottom of the window Make sure that you're not in the way of the laser coming out the bottom of the device and the Inkerma DM262 will do all the calculations for you. They also tested the DM262 outside. I need a new hose pipe. But trying to measure the length of the garden brought up an error message. Basically because the bushes at the other end of the garden weren't reflective enough. But when I switched direction and went from the bottom of the garden towards the house, I did get a reading of 22.8 metres. So a 30 metre hose should be fine. And don't forget, if you run out of things to measure, you can always use this to torment the cat. Inkerma did supply this meter for test, and I'd like to thank Estelle for that. This review is, however, totally independent. Inkerma have also supplied me with a discount code, which you'll find in the description below. You can use this on top of the Amazon discount, which is currently on offer. So if you're interested, check out the product links below. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.